In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at Filmstock's platform. So we came across Filmstock on multiple occasions. When you go to one of these menus, you can see it's written right here. And with Filmstock, you get additional resources for either elements, effects, transitions, and titles. You can even find audio and stock media. Let's go ahead and open our browser and see what we can find on Filmstock. So just type in filmstocks.com, log into your Wondershare account, and immediately you can see a lot of cool effects. You can filter through these options, look for transitions, intros, elements, overlays, and so much more. You can come down here and look at the courses that explain the uh, Filmora tools. If you were ever confused about a certain tool, you can head over here and see how they work. You can come over here, look at some packs that contain effects, audios, videos, and images. You can see these diamonds on the edge of these uh, footage. Some of them are blue, some of them are uh, pink, and another type is orange. The blue ones are free to use, these ones, the pink ones, are standard library, and the orange ones are premium library. If you'd like to download any of them, you can hit this button or uh, select this heart button to add it to your favorites. Let's go back up here and take a look at the menu bar. Let's head over to the effects menu, and over here we can find different categories for our effects such as birthday, sports, and other categories. You can find more categories below, like Instagram. So basically, these uh, are set for Instagram's dimension, whether it's Instagram story, post, or a slideshow. We have gaming, free editor's pick. These are free to use and a cinematic category. Let's go back up here. Let's open videos and see what stock media we can use. Again, we have categories, so you can easily find what you're looking for. We have trending uh, themes right here. Let's go over here, find more. And over here, again, we have the diamonds. You can either look at all the libraries or filter through each one. Premium Library, the Orange Diamonds, Standard Library, and finally, Free. You can sort it by Most Recent or Most Popular. You can change these settings up here for subscriptions or single purchase. Whether you'd like to get a subscription and pay a fee every month and get uh, these elements, or head over to single purchase where you just need to select uh, one thing at a time that we don't have one for videos right now. Let's go back to subscription. You can choose the resolution of your video, HD, 4K, others, and adjust the duration. So a maximum of one minute and 34 seconds. You can search with the related topics Blooming, fluid, pigment, and others. Type something else. This is what we get. Now let's check out the audio menu where you can uh, look through the genre, the vibe of the music, and the occasion. Let's go down here and see the list recommendation. Over here, we can see the list. We have downloading ranking, so this is number one. In the music ranking, this is number one. And in the sound effect ranking, this is number one. So you can look at the rankings and then select all 
to look at a longer list. Over here you can download or add to your favorites. Again, we have single purchase and subscription. Sort by most recent or most popular. We have the asset type, whether it's music or a sound effect. Choose through the, uh, choose between the different libraries. We have free, standard, and premium. You can adjust the duration of your audio and set the maximum amount or the least amount. Search through the different topics, such as commercial, And you could go over here to search for sound effects only, music only, or AI music. Now let's head over to images right here. Again, we have categories that you can choose from. Got green screens. Here we are. Sorted by most recent or most popular. Choose whether you want people in these images with people and without people. You can choose from the library and the orientation. So whether you want it to be a portrait, a landscape, or a square. Let's go back in here and see the trending themes. We have bouquet, Temple Ceiling, Antelope Canyon, and others. Click Find More to see other images. Let's close this and take a look at the 3D category. We have a one-stop shop for 3D models, NFTs, blockchain, game assets, and more. We have a free category. Again, you can go through the different items and the trending themes. Let's click find more. Let's go ahead and get something for our Filmora. I will choose my asset type. Filmora, and you can go over it to see a preview. Let's get the Cyberpunk opening titles pack. Click download, and now it's going to ask you to open Filmora 11. And this is what you're getting, film stock. We have a subscription download, so if you're logged into your Filmora account, you should be getting the same thing. All right, we downloaded the asset right here. We can see the status is active and it tells me uh, what I'm getting from this. So I'm getting seven titles and eight elements. There's a short description and I can rate this after I have used it. If you're not seeing your assets here, you can go ahead and click this button, which will refresh the film stock window. Once it finished downloading and uh, it says completed over here, you can close this window, head over to uh, elements because we read that there is a title and element. Head over to elements, film stock, scroll down to resource pack where you can find your openings. This is what we got, one of the things we got. Play this back. Pretty cool. We have others.
And these are what I got from my new resource pack. So whatever you download will show up here, but you gotta pay attention to what you're getting in that pack. For example, I'm not getting any effects from the pack that I downloaded. Let's head over to film stock, resource pack. There is nothing because the pack that I downloaded did not have any effects or transitions. It just had titles and elements. Let's see the titles, film stock, resource pack, and these are my titles. Let's take a look at a few examples. We have some lightsabers down here, and then we have this, which looks really cool. If I drag these on my timeline, I can use what we learned in the previous lessons about advanced tools to adjust the animations. Double click, I can change the fonts first, the font and what I'm writing in these text boxes. Let's type title. You can change the font, but you want to make sure it still goes well with the background. So you don't want to choose something that's like this. Let's change the font back to what it was. Head over to advanced and you can see we're getting the separate video. I can adjust the animation of my title. The duration of the animation. And we have another one up here. Like we learned, I can add additional text boxes, add an image if I'd like, and just work with this uh, preset to get a cool result. Let's hit OK. And now I have this in my Filmora. Let's try to get some other uh, resources. Head back to my browser and I will get an audio. Let's head to Lo-Fi. And I will get this uh, epic sci-fi trailer. Click download. And this will just go over here. So you don't need to bring up the film stock window. It will just go on your computer. Let's go to theme and choose something. If I have a YouTube channel, I would want to come to the themes and get something that's related to my channel. If I have a makeup channel, I want to go here to make sure that everything I'm getting is related to makeup. So we got titles, we have elements, we have some sample videos and other resources. I can go ahead and download any of these. Whatever that you select that requires you to purchase that product will go in your cart. Let's go back to film stock. If you're planning on creating videos that are uh, not English, you can click on this and choose a preferred language. Let's try Japanese. And now my film stock is Japanese. Apart from that, I'm getting Japanese resources. So we have Japanese uh, titles, which gives me the right settings to type in Japanese. We have some cool fonts and maybe some, um, some manga right here. And whatever language that you choose, uh, it will bring the resources, but in that language. Let's close this and get something else. I will go back to English and let's get this new effect right here. We have the editor's pick. Let's get this Fimo Essential Elements. Click on it and then hit download. Here we are, it's going to download and I can see I have four titles, 25 elements. If you have many uh, resource packs, you can search here or sort it by date. Let's uh, close this, elements. I have Fimo Essential Elements. Here we are. Let's check some out. Pretty cool. Let's choose this. 
Keep in mind that this is an element and not a title, so I cannot change what's in here. I can just work with it as if it was a video. Let's check out some of the titles. Fimo Essentials, and this is an example of a title that I can use. This could be suitable for tutorials. And now you know how to work with the Filmstock platform and get additional resources. You could head over to the Filmstock tab, but on the platform you get more options to filter through the results. Now you can use Filmstock to get additional resources for your awesome videos. Let's move on to the next lesson.